guys, as you can see in this video, I'm just speeding up the process of how I get my base done. Here you can see the products that I'm using and hopefully we get to the good stuff quickly. <laughs> but as in right now, I'm just going to be using these products, some bronzer, blushes, and highlight. And I'm going to be also doing my lips in this clip so you guys can see how I do all this really fast and then we'll get to the good stuff. So we're going to be taking a look at this palette right here. It's so beautiful, you guys. It's called Dia and Noche. And you guys, it, this is so affordable. I tried one of these palettes earlier uh, this year and I really enjoy it. So I was kind of like, let me just pick more palettes with more colors to play with to show you guys how bomb these are. So we're going to be starting, you guys. This is just so perfect. Let's take a quick look. So, so perfect. I'm going to be swatching for you guys at the end of this look. So we're just going to completely start diving in. And you guys, my brushes are dirty. So please don't mind. <laughs> so the first color I want to take and I want to see... What it looks like is this color right here. Just gonna see how that performs in the eye. So I'm gonna quickly place that color right. Look at how much pigmentation and I just touched my lid. And I don't have any primer on because that's how I wanna see how the shadows performs. I don't want anything enhancing them because then you know, the day that I do not put a primer, I would not if it works the same. But this was just one dip in the pan and it took it a long way. I'm just going to dip it one more time and bring that color to more intense. You guys, wow, I really, really love it. It does have a little bit of fallout in the pan. I don't know if you can see that in there. So following that color, let's take a quick look at this brown right here. And let's see if it blends as nicely as the orange. So it's going to place it right in here. You guys, look the pigmentation. And it blends like butter right away. I'm going to put the price right here for you guys so you guys can see how affordable this was and how well it's working in the eyes. I'm impressed. Take just a little bit more of that color and lay it in here just to give it more dimension in just this part right here. Now grabbing a flat brush like this i'm gonna grab a concealer and do kind of like a cut crease let's see if we can play with some colors today because i've been doing such subtle looks on my channel lately so i'm gonna try and do a cut crease So I think about right there, it's fine. So I think I'm ready now for playing with some color right here, you guys. This this palette had so many options. 
I'm just looking at it and I can't think of what I want to do but I think I'm going to play or start hmm I want to start with this burgundy right here it's kind of like a plump kind of color like purple but red as well so let's see and I wish this palette had a little mirror so I could use it but I'm gonna lay this color right in here you guys towards the end and on top of that we're gonna be putting more of that brown but look at that shade you guys it's so beautiful and that's with the brush and I haven't even wet it so let me try with my finger See if I can get it more for, oh yes, more metallic with the finger. Alright, so I'm going to swatch the burgundy here life with you guys. So you guys can see how beautiful and dual chrome kind of it is. Because it has like more orangey reddish base with the pink, almost the pink purple shift to it. I don't know if you can see it right there. It's so, so beautiful, you guys. All right, you guys, doing and using the same brush, I'm going I'm to grab this purple and lay it right on top. Right here. Oh, my God. It's so beautiful. So now what I want to do is grab one of the rosy tones. I'm going to grab this one, this one right here, and place that following the purple. This will be so much better if I use my fingers, but since we're trying to be precise, I think I'm going to spray my brush just a little bit so I can have more control over the color and the brush. It's so, so pretty. Look at that, if you wet the brush, you get so much more payoff. I want to try this COC, <laughs> it's like a bluish, very light one, and I want to put that in the inner part. Oh my god, yes. And I'm almost bringing it just a little bit on top of the one that we just laid out. And it looks so pretty. All right, all right. All right, J-Cat. <laughs> I see what you're doing right there. So now I'm going to grab maybe this one in my inner corner. Or should I do this one? And I feel like that's what I'm missing in this palette, a very dark color just to complement the outer B and bring everything just together because that's what I'm missing. And that is so lovely. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye, put a lash on and do the lower lash with you guys. So now I'm just going to grab this pencil right here. This is from LA Girl and I'm going to run a waterline, you guys. These lashes are everything. These are the 3D Fox Mink from Kala. I think I got this at TJ Maxx and they look so pretty, so wispy and open up the eyes a little bit. Also, I used this right here. This is a liner and it's like glue for your lashes. And it's so easy and so incredible to use. I think I'm never going to be running out of that. I'm going to repurchase. Because it was so easy for my lash application. I'm not even kidding. Okay, so now that we have that line going on. I'm just going to grab. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know if I want to run this through the lower lash part. Let's do that. 
And I'm gonna bring this a little bit more down than usual. Favorite lash product for my lower lash part. And there we go. I love this product. I purchase, I repurchase this for my mom, my grandma, for me, everybody in the family. Because it's that good, you guys. And it's so, so affordable. Alright, you guys, so now I think I'm pretty much done with the look. And I would say I really enjoy this palette. Really, really enjoy this palette. It's very affordable. It does have some chunky kind of shimmer shades, but it does perform very good, you guys, you know? I can't complain. <laughs> I can't I can't complain for this price right here. I can't complain. But if you want to see some sachets, let's go into that. Alright, just let's start with the top row right here. It's very difficult to fit your fingers in there. But let's see, right here. Here's the first color. It's a nice ivory color. Then let's jump into the blue. The blue, it's a little, it's swatching a little bit lackluster. The ivory was swatching better. Let's see this brown. There you go. It's orangey. These matte swatches are not the best. Okay, shimmer shades are swatching a little bit better. And that's better, you guys. Look at that. The blue, it's so metallic. Then we have this gold right here. Look at this. Then we have this pink. And this pink, or like, I don't know, it, it, has, it has a base and a shift to it. I don't know if you can see that right there, but it's very, very beautiful, you guys. So let's see this green. It's very, very difficult to get my fingers into the pan. But look at that green. I want to use that. I want to use it in an upcoming video for you guys because I think that green bluish kind of shade with the blue that's here is going to look very nice. Or even with the green that's right here and this one, that may look very nice. I'm going to swatch right here. I'm running out of space in my arm, but that's how it looks. And I think I'm gonna switch right here now. Oh, I love this one. I love this one. That that one, it's kind of like a dual chrome as well. And that would look so, so good with the blue. Oh my goodness. And then lastly, it's the purple you guys so the shimmer shades are swatching very very nicely compared to the mattes i think that the mattes are just a little bit on the sheer side but the shimmers are very very nice so that's what i think about this palette you guys it's very good for the price i think that the mattes are a little bit lackluster but the shimmers are impeccable for the price very creamy 
a little bit crumbly in my opinion but nothing that I cannot work with so if you were looking into really nice shimmers with for a very affordable price I think this one may serve you that's it for today you guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed the swatches and i hope you enjoyed the process of how i was kind of creating this look and if you liked it please give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel and i'll see you in the next one Bye.